Your WCBI First Alert AccuWeather Forecast on CW4 with meteorologist Trevor Burchett. It is July in the south, so no big secrets here. The temperatures are going to stay warm, but they're going to be noticeably warmer this weekend. Highs in the mid to upper 90s through at least Monday. Now we do get a little bit of a break getting into the middle and end portion of next week. Our average high for this time of year is 92 degrees, so we're going to be a little closer to that, closer to 93 or 94, but it is still going to be hot and it is still going to be humid. Unfortunately, probably until at least the end of September or early October, just kind of the way things roll around here in Mississippi and Alabama. Here's the setup across the country. What's going on? We've got a couple of weather systems we're watching. One little batch of storms there uh, just to the north of our area in West Tennessee and Western Kentucky. That kind of riding there along that stationary boundary. We've got a heftier line of storms, though, up to the north. This is really the big weather talker right now uh, in North Dakota coming through uh, northern Minnesota and Wisconsin. Some 90 mile an hour wind gusts possible up there. Now, the good news is neither one of these systems are going to affect us, but the bad news out of that is we're not going to get any relief in the way of rainfall or cooler temperatures anytime soon. Out there right now, as I mentioned, no issues weather wise for us. We are dry and clear in Columbus and Louisville. High, uh, temperatures still in the low to mid 80s out there. Uh, Vernon looking good at 85, 86 for our friends up to the north in Tupelo. Overnight tonight, I think we fall down into the mid 70s. 74 for the low. It's going to stay mild and it's going to stay muggy. The good news is we stay mostly clear tonight. So if you're looking to do some stargazing, maybe see that comet. Tonight's a good night for it. We won't see much in the way of cloud cover, but it is going to be noticeably humid. And unfortunately, that continues, as you'll see on the Emerson Animal Hospital forecast. Honey has the right idea. She's got the paddleboard out in the pool, and this is why you're going to need it. Take a look at this three day forecast 96 for Saturday and Sunday, 97 for Monday, a mix of some sunshine and clouds. I think most of us are going to see plenty of sunshine for the next several days. Can't completely rule out a shower or storm here across the area, but the big weather story this weekend is going to be the heat and humidity. And unfortunately, there's not going to be much in the way of rainfall across the area to help us out. But of course, the big important factor at this time of year is the heat index. Take a look at this by tomorrow afternoon. The high is 96. It's going to be feeling like 104 in Columbus, 105 in Tupelo. And as we play this forward into Sunday, unfortunately, much of the same 96 for the high. But the humidity is going to make things feel closer to 103 or 104 across portions of the area. So if you've got to be outside, remember to follow these tips. Drink plenty of water. Take breaks if you absolutely can. Of course, the best bet is just to stay in the shade, stay in the air conditioning. I can be like Scott Martin and stay at the pool all day. That's a great way uh, to stay cool. But of course, it's also important if you're going to keep the pets outside, check in on them. Maybe check in on those neighbors and just make sure they're doing okay in all this heat and humidity. Here's this AccuWeather 7-day forecast. Take a look. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, really not much in the way of rainfall. Maybe an isolated shower or storm. We are going to introduce better rain chances here through the middle and end of next week. Still not everybody going to see rain, but the potential will be a little bit better. That helps to knock our temperatures down just a little bit closer to the mid-90s. Overnight lows staying in the 70s. Sports is next right after this. Don't go anywhere. Stay with us.